And a congratulations once again in your clothing collection. It's absolutely stunning and elegant. So much so that I had a huge interest in purchasing one of your suit dresses and sleeveless tops until I saw your prices. I say this with a lot of love. I have money to buy them. Trust me. But I simply cannot fathom investing that much for each piece. I'm curious to know what's the justification for such prices. How did they determine these prices? I know you claim the linen is from Italy, but what's so special about that? Can you please share more about the construction, the benefits, how the linen was made? Is there a cause or percentage of this money going somewhere to help others? How was the collection made, etc.? I'm intrigued and I hope you consider sharing more about this as I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way. Thank you in advance. All the best from Los, Los Angeles, Aurora. And then Anna Bay responded. Hi Aurora, first of all, I want to thank you for expressing your concern over my pricing so eloquently. I wish more people could model your communication skills. To answer your concern, there have been many factors influencing the price. Number one, manufacturing is difficult, if not impossible, to manufacture at a low price point while staying ethical and sustainable and offer quality. I didn't want to compromise on ethics and quality, both fabric quality but also construction quality. So I went for a mid-range approach in my pricing. Two. Due to COVID and aftermath of the pandemic, all manufacturing materials, etc., in the fashion industry have fallen up by 30% in price. That's why you might have noticed many of your favorite brands have gone up in price in recent years. If before a mid range dress from Marge or Sandro would cost $200. I see them cost more around $300. Seeing now how manufacturing works for myself, I can tell you that I have more understanding for the prices. People usually think that when a garment costs X amount to make, let's say manufacturing was 100 per dress to make, that they think that when selling the dress for 300, the 200 is pure profit from the brand into the brand's pocket. That's not how it works. There are so many moving parts in the clothing manufacturing business, fashion brand business, and all these moving parts cost money that has to also be paid for from the profits, from the profits. I can tell you from experience now that this is very tough business model that doesn't give much profit into the company. So when pricing these items high, it's not because the company just cashing in all the profits, it's because that's how much it costs pretty much to create a fashion product. From scratch, with the 101 moving parts that requires to arrive at the customer's doorsteps. Number four, small businesses, this is a long comment. Small business owners like myself will never work in high manufacturing quantities like big names like Banana Republic, Zara, Mango, etc. So we will never be able to compete with the price points at, as they get a lot of bulk high quality discounts. Most people are used to their pricing and therefore feel confused why a small business owner charges X amount. Five, I understand many of you ladies feel disappointed because my pricing is out of your league. Unfortunately, this kind of linen doesn't come cheap. Number six, the linen is Italian and good quality. Slightly thicker linen because I prefer the look and hold of it. Unfortunately, this kind of linen doesn't come cheap. Number seven, last point. We didn't opt for the cheapest possible manufacturing and factory. We chose a small factory that is ethical and have good working conditions for the workers in Bulgaria. This factory also works with brands like Sandro and Max Mara. You can see their prices 
and understand that my prices will be similar even though they order in much higher quantity than I did and therefore have higher manufacturing cost. This response is getting long, but I hope I somehow answered this concern. Frankly, more can be added. I'm sure you ladies who have knowledge of manufacturing can tell how difficult it is working with these margins and how few brands actually profit from this business model. Most people don't know this fact. Have a good day. Bouquet of flowers. That is Anna's response. Right, so Aurora responded saying, Thank you for the detailed response, Anna. I truly appreciate you taking time to respond and enlighten me. I can only imagine all it entails and the multiple people it takes to help create your line. This definitely helps me understand your pricing way more. So thank you for sharing. Out of curiosity, would you ever have models with different skin and complexion model your outfits? I ask because the colors are absolutely stunning and look amazing on you. But because I have a tan, I'm wondering how those colors would look on me in comparison and which one would look best, if you know what I mean. Thanks in advance. All the best. Oh. That's it. I am done with this video. I think the collection is beautiful. Would love to own a piece. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Let me know what you think about the question from Aurora and Anna's response. Do you think it was an elegant response? Let me know in the comments, okay? Bye!